Good morning folks, welcome to the third quarter of the month. Um, as you can see, I had my uh, my summer shave. Not quite true. Uh, I was having my normal shave to tidy up my beard and I slipped and I took a big chunk out of my uh, beard here with the, uh, with the razor and it looked rather silly so it had to come off or I would have been walking around with half a moustache straight beard. So anyway, now you know why I'm clean shaven. I'm sure the beard will return when we go on holiday next time. Or if we go on holiday this year, uh, COVID is still causing issues. Uh, hopefully, the vaccine will uh, will solve that in the not too distant future. Um, so, the quote this month is from somebody again who has passed away, and who I had respect for. He was a artist, uh, not in the true sense of painting, um, but he was, uh, you know, in his time. He was seen as the light of the future as far as entertainment was concerned. And he came up with a saying um, that goes like this. You need power only when you want to do something harmful. Otherwise, love is enough to get everything done. And that was Charlie Chaplin. So, you need power only when you want to do something harmful. Otherwise, love is enough to get everything done. Now, power, love, love, hate, um, you look at the world we live in and we have an awful lot of hate. We have an awful, awful lot of people that uh, supposedly have power to do bad things and quite regularly do. Um, and then, you know, a powerful person, Donald Trump was a powerful person. Vladimir Putin is a powerful person in the world as we see it and that is projected to us. Are they really a powerful person? Was Hitler a powerful person? They influenced you, they influenced the people around them um, and created their own power so that they could do pretty much what they wanted. Um, power is something that um, people crave for because uh, they think it's going to give them what they want. Um, I used to crave it, I'll put my hand up and say, yeah, I was the, one of the guilty ones that loved power, loved to be in a, in a, in a controlling situation, be the person that we, you know, could say what could be done, when it could be done. And then you start to realise as you get older that actually it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that you have um, the power to make a decision. The power not to make a decision, or the power not to do something that is potentially going to hurt somebody else, is far, far greater. Um, cutting words, cutting humour, great. Uh, I love humour. Jimmy Carr is one of my favourite comedians, and he, he, he cuts very deep with his humour into a lot of people's lives. Uh, he does it in a way that I find hilarious. Some people will disagree. Um, so what, you know, power is a difficult one because a lot of people crave it and it starts when you're growing up and you get a taste for it if you, if you have some success with it and you want more and more and more and more and it consumes you. Um, you know, look at Hitler, look at uh, Trump, um, look at Stalin, uh, go back through his history. Genghis Khan, they all had power and they all wanted to use it to conquer the world. You don't need to conquer the world, you need to conquer yourself. Self-belief, self-understanding and just knowing that you know there's enough on this planet for everybody if we stop being greedy and power hungry. So quite a deep one this week, I'm going to read it again just so that we have got that clear. This is one of the ones that I've posted on Facebook. For those of you that follow me on Facebook, I post probably half a dozen of the ten quotes and positive, upbeat stuff most of the time uh, through Facebook every day. And this is one I've selected from, from that. So Charlie Chaplin said, you need power only when you want to do something harmful. Otherwise, love is enough to get everything done. And I think that says it all. Take care of yourselves and we will see you uh, next time for quote of the month four. All right, take care, have a good, uh, good, good four weeks. Take care, bye.